Hey everybody, I want to show you what happens when you put a wrong power supply in a laptop. It's not going to damage anything, but um, if you look at these, they're all the same connectors. Alright, so uh, what we have here is uh, an HP power supply, a replacement power supply, generic, there's no, uh, no um, manufacturer's thing on it, but uh, all these have different output amps. Uh, that are on there. The HP, uh, you can, if you see it on there, you can, you can read it. Uh, and then this one over here is a, is an authentic Dell. All right, as it says way up on top. Okay. All right, look, let's look at this a little closer. This is the Dell that actually works on the laptop. Okay, it's putting out 19.5 volts, 3.34 amps. This is the replacement. Uh, power supply 18.5 volts 3.5 amps so it's low on the voltage okay the HP alright that small number there is 18.5 volts 3.5 volts uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to set the Dell one aside and we're going to take the generic one alright that, that looks like Okay, it should fit. It's a generic. Let's see. Went out and purchased it, and put it. In. I'm going to plug it in in the back here, into the wall. Okay, we have uh, a light on the bottom. I'm going to put this in in the back of the Dell laptop. I want to show you something now. Number one, there's no power light. That's the first uh, first thing when you plug in a, a power supply. You should get some kind of power light up here. It would be up here on the side or even back where the where the power goes in. Some of them have like a glow that goes around the plug. All right. So when I turn this guy on, and it does turn on, we have lights here. But watch the message that comes up. All right. AC power adapter wattage and type cannot be determined. All right, the battery will not charge. So, so it was F1 to continue, F2 to run setup. We're going to continue, and I want to bring it up and show you what what happens. Now, down here on the bottom, I don't I don't have screen capturing program on this uh, laptop, so bear with me. There, uh, if this battery was virtually dead, there would be a red X on this battery. But if, uh, if you look here when I put the mouse over, okay, 99% available, plugged in, not charging. So you need to, you need to pay attention to that because <laughs> if you're on the road, you take the wrong power supply, guess what? Yeah, you may have issues. All right, so now what I'm going to do is uh, uh, switch the power supplies. I have uh, the HP one plugged in. I'm going to take that out. This recognizes that, okay, just... Just going back to the power saving, it recognizes that there's uh, uh, no nothing plugged in. All right, now I'm going to plug in the other one. This comes over. Plug in this. This is the HP now. The power supply is plugged in. Okay, that's uh, changing the power options. That's why it flashes. We put the mouse over it. And there it is, same thing, not charging. So what I'm going to do is shut down. I'm going to put the right power supply in. We're going to see that we don't get the message, and it will be uh, charging properly. Well, the first thing I noticed, the third light, which is the battery light, is on. So that might be all you need to do is uh, plug in your power supplies until you see the battery light is on. We don't get a message up saying anything about the battery not being compatible. Windows 7 is booting up, so we're going to bring it back. Okay, we come down here, and we see we see right off the bat. When you come down here, you see this little battery that's going down low and then up. So that's the charging indicator right now. That is actually charging. It's like your cell phone. The smartphones do the same thing. And then right here, and it says it is charging. All right. So it's very important that you um, obtain the correct 
power supply if you have multiple uh, power supplies in your in your house. Going through all these laptops over the years, you may get rid of the laptop but keep the power supplies. All right, so just be careful. I've seen it too many times in airports, and somebody's saying, "Oh man, I got the wrong power supply." All right, that could be an issue. Here's another idea for you. Put a, a, a piece of tape or something around saying which laptop it goes to. If you have multiple HP laptops, put down G60, uh, whatever model number it is. Uh, something else for you. If you do have a bad power supply or lost your power supply, or you're at an airport, you're on travel, and you need to go to Radio Shack or someplace to get a power supply, bring your laptop in with you plug in the power supply and make sure the light in the front back side comes on and that the battery does charge when it's charging and it'll save you a lot of heartache if you do that hope you like the video have a good day